Hey guys, it's Andrew from Simu Apti, and in this tutorial, we are going to look at passing data from one view controller to another view controller. Okay, so we have a new single view application here. So we're just going to add a new view controller by file, new file. Select Coca Touch class and we'll name it Pokemon View Controller. Go next and create that in our project. Now what we need to do is head over to our storyboard. And in our storyboard, we want to add a new view controller. So from the object explorer, drag that on to your storyboard. And now we're going to add first of all a button to the left hand side. We're just going to call the button go. And in the right side one, we're going to add a label and we're going to call it Pokemon label. And we'll expand that out a bit. And what we're going to do is with this button, select it, hold the control key down, connect it up with a show action seg. And when we hit go, we're going to pass a Pokemon name to this view controller and change the label. So with this second view controller, first of all, select it. And then in the top right, we need to change the custom class from the default UI view controller to Pokemon view controller. So that's a view controller we just created. And with that done, we can select the Pokemon label, open up the assistant editor, and now we can connect it up to our Pokemon view controller. And we're going to name it label Pokemon. Connect that up and now we're ready to go. So close that down, go to our Pokemon view controller and you'll notice that when you create this, it creates this mark navigation code template here. Copy that out, go to our view controller, copy that into our view controller and we'll just uncomment that out. And we'll just format it up properly here. Okay, so any new view controller you create will create this code template here. And what happens is whenever you move from one view controller to another view controller, it will run this block of code here, preparing to move to the next view controller. So what we'll do in here, we'll do let VC or view controller equals seg dot destination. And this will be the destination view controller we are going to. And we'll do as question mark Pokemon view controller. And now what we're going to do is head back over to the Pokemon view controller and create a new variable called var Pokemon of the type string as an empty string. Now, if we go back to our view controller in this prepare for seg, now we do VC question mark dot Pokemon equals Pikachu. So now what we can do, we can see with that view controller, since we cast it as a Pokemon view controller, because we know we're going to that screen, we have this Pokemon string, which we're setting to Pikachu. And now in the Pokemon view controller, we can simply do label Pokemon dot text equals the Pokemon is and then we'll add that Pokemon string in. So backslash the curvy brackets and that will set the label Pokemon once the view control is loaded to be the Pokemon is and whatever's in this Pokemon variable. So let's run that now and check that out. Okay, so we've got our app here. So if we select go, we can see the screen loads up with the Pokemon is Pikachu. So that's how you can pass data from one view controller to another view controller. So recall when you create a new view controller, it will create this function here called prepare for seg. You can uncomment that and use it as long as you're using a storyboard and you just do let view controller equals seg dot destination, which will be the destination view controller. 
then cast it as the actual view controller you're using. So remember, ours is Pokemon view controller. And then you can set any variables within that view controller before you move to that screen. So remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and you can download the source code in the description below.